Welcome, uh, Christina Möller. Uh, today's interview will focus on food and sustainability. Uh, and we know that our planet is uh, increasingly challenged by the way we live. But let us look at some of the perspective uh, the developed countries' challenges uh, regarding quality of life and food and sustainability. Christina, which are the biggest challenges uh, we have uh, if we look at our bodies, our human beings' bodies, when we look at food? Yes, we are eating um, uh, too much food and we are eating too much proteins and we eat much fat and uh, especially uh, families with children, they have uh, uh, so much intake of, of fat, so we have a, a children obesitas in Sweden. Uh, the food in the school is not so very good nowadays. So why? Uh, because uh, of the staff. They have um, uh, not so much uh, knowledge in cooking. Uh, they come at 11, they serve children at 12 and they go home at 2. And uh, the nutrition they know a little about it, but um, the cooking, you, you must uh, cook with love to children and uh, people must learn a lot more about cooking. So if we look at the school, so we can look at sort of a pensioner's home or service houses, do they have a kitchen to make the food in? No, not, not uh, every. Uh, they have uh, big central kitchens where they cook food from uh, early morning and they send it, they transport it to uh, the elderly people and to the schools and uh, that is not good for the taste and uh, uh, you must uh, warm it up again and it's not good. So how would you like to see it in the future? I would like to see it uh, small kitchens where there are people with passion and love who can cook and give uh, elderly people and, and uh, children uh, good food, tasty food, uh, with not so much additives. We have additives in the uh, industrial food today. That's not good. So what is uh, the lesson for the farmers for the future? Uh, the farmers must uh, think that it's a consumer who are going to take care of the products. Uh, sometimes in Sweden the farmers uh, said, oh, we must uh, uh, have uh, volumes, volumes. Uh, but they don't think about the uh, consumer by the, di uh, the table eating the products. So I think you must have a focus on the consumer. So, uh, Christina, which role do you think the consumer corp can play in uh, demands of new organic uh, products and, and uh, to be more healthy for us as consumers? I think uh, the consumer movement ha has a very important role in uh, this. I think uh, they must uh, uh, have a good idea for the future about uh, the organic products and uh, they must come with the products that a normal family use every day 